Hello and welcome to channel Ein R Key and I am your host Voluntary. So today I want to talk to you about Not so fast Voluntary. Oh no, it's my evil twin Involuntary. Yes, and today the show is mine. Instead of just making vapid complaints about the government, I'm going to use government to solve society's real problems. <laughs> so I watched a Riley J. Dennis video. He makes a lot of good points. Yes, if you reject someone because they have the wrong genitals, that does mean you are a bigot. Your dating preferences are bigoted. Based on Riley's brilliant information, I discovered other forms of dating bigotry. 1. Sex Straight people refuse to date people of the same sex. Gay people refuse to date people of the opposite sex. 2. Gender there are people who date women who don't date trans women. There are people who date men who don't date trans men. 3. Appearance Apparently, there are people who have physical unattractiveness disability and as a result cannot attract a mate, such as the fat activists. 4. Race I didn't realize this, but it seems there are people who only date people of their own race. Moreover, there are people who say they are willing to date outside their race, but don't actually get around to it. 5. Intelligence Yes, it seems that smart people only date smart people, and intellectually oppressed people only date intellectually oppressed people. Likewise. Higher educated people tend not to date educationally oppressed people. 6. Wealth Again, people are more likely to date in-group than out-group. There's 6 right away, and there are others. Riley is right. People are bigots when they choose someone to date. So what I propose is a government dating agency. Every single person over the age of 18 must sign up for it, much like the draft. In fact, men can do their selective service at the same time just to make it easier. You can list your dating preferences when you sign up. Those can be taken into advisement, but if the government feels you need to reform your dating preferences, you can be assigned someone you ordinarily wouldn't approach. That means... If you say you won't date someone of a particular gender, you might be assigned one just so you could overcome your bigotry. And if you won't date someone of a particular race, again, you could be assigned one for the same reason. You can apply for a new partner, but only after going on three government-approved dates first. There will be no outright refusal of these just pairings. If you find someone on your own, you can apply for a permit to date that person. If that permit is approved, well, good for you. However, that permit is denied, you are not allowed to date. And if caught dating, you can and will be punished. You must go through the government's dating agency. If people show they are having a problem adjusting to this new system, we can have orientation classes and training classes to help people adjust and overcome their innate bigotry and selfishness, and view dating as a more progressive good for the benefit of society as a whole. Just think of how many problems can be solved by this. 
racism, sexism, homophobia, and transphobia will disappear immediately. Meanwhile, by cross-mixing intelligence, education, and economic class, we can work more progressively towards eliminating these disparities as well. That's enough, Binvoluntary. I'm taking my channel back. It should be noted that Involuntary's views are not the views of Voluntary, nor are they the views of the Einarchy channel in general.